Hi all, I'm Thomas and this is Power Platform Done Quick. Today I'd like to talk about um, regex or regular expressions. Regular expressions is one of the most powerful tools you'll ever encounter while doing these automations, while doing programming or uh, just scraping of any sort. Now, regular expressions are a way of finding patterns in text. So imagine that your boss comes over to you and says, Hi, I have a thousand page document. Can you please find all the telephone numbers in the document? I mean, how would you go about that? That's where regex comes in. You know, you write a pattern for a telephone number and uh, the regular expressions will, um, will return all the matches it finds. And that sort of thing comes up all the time. You know, usually when you read a subject for an email or when you just read something, you need to find a little bit of text that's important to you. That's uh, where you regex. Okay, so the site you're seeing is regex101.com. Now, this is uh, my favorite site for, uh, for testing my regular expressions. Mind, if you're in Power Automate, always do the .NET C Sharp because that's the framework that Power Automate is working in before you test it out. So basically you write your whatever text you want to do here and you write a regular expression up here and it'll tell you if you match it or not. Okay, so uh, let's uh, start out by writing something random. Check them out, this is the text. You can see there's a little bubble for a space. You know, you can just write this. And here we get a match on the side and uh, that'll be fine. But to uh, say that this can both be Shaky Man and um, Superman, like this. Um, I'd like to find either. As long as one of them is there, I'm glad, you know. So how I do that? Well, I can put a, an OR operator here and go Superman. So now that'll be fine, you know, but it won't find uh, Spider-Man. Um, even uh, we can even shorten this. Uh, something I do all the time. Uh, right, do some uh, do something that's called groups. Uh, now groups are a parentheses, and uh, a group is, uh, is is something that you can match on, like a group of stuff. So I'll do. I'd like to do shaky or super or spider, and uh, that'll find it. Mind, if I delete the space here, it won't find, because it's not an exact match. So, maybe not so useful now, uh, yet, because you can imagine a lot of texts, it's in one word. I actually think Spider and Superman is in one word. I can't remember. Eh, we'll get to that, don't you worry. Now, the um, telephone thing. You can do these guys. Uh, square brackets and then put some stuff in you want. I'd like an A, a Z, or B. And you know, this will match if there is an A of capital set or an uh, or B. I said B, but I wrote N, whatever. You know, there are three different matches. It doesn't match all of them. This is not one long match, it matches each and every one of them. Uh, so that's what you can do. You can even do these uh, guys here. I like A to Z. And it'll match everything, uh, everything in the alphabets. I can even put an operator on this, if uh, like uh, an operator with quote coded brackets. That means that I'd like to find three of the previous uh, defined ones. So here, I have the alphabet. I like three alphabet characters in a row, and in the right here, you can see that's what it's finding. Uh, the first one, and yeah, the second one. Uh, even so, I can do a plus, and as you can see in the top right, every time you use something, it'll tell you this uh, web page what what it does actually means. So you know the plus matches the previous token between one and unlimited times. You can also do the star. That's the same, but that's between zero and unlimited times. So you can see it's finding everything here because I'm repeating it. All right, another useful operator is the digit. I use this a lot because a lot of the times I need to find digits in my automations. You know, like account numbers, um, social security numbers, telephone numbers, what have you. 
and this works fine. You can, of course, do the operator as we showed before. Um, three, but let's say I'm, uh, I don't care if it's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I can do a comma. Oops. And you can see this is not matching because this is only two numbers I have here. But if I do a third number, it'll match. And four. And until I hit eight. So that's just super. Now let's try to do the to do the telephone number. Uh, before we do, actually, there's one on one more operator that I'd uh, I should mention. It's the carrot. I didn't even actually know what it was called. This I looked it up. It's called a carrot. So the carrot that means that it's the uh, beginning of line that you're looking for something. So this would match, but this wouldn't. And vice versa, there's also a um, dollar sign for the end of line. Pretty useful. A lot of the time you're going to be uh, focused on something being at the start of the line. Okay, so let's do a telephone number. <laughs> Here in Denmark we have um, we have uh, pretty boring telephone numbers. They're just eight digits, so that would just be right digits eight. So that might be I prepared something. I saw this telephone number uh, type somewhere, I just can't remember where it was. It looks kind of American, doesn't it? But it's not. Well, whatever. Mind, in the beginning, I'd like to match a plus to get the area code. So, um, I wrote a backslash plus, because the plus operator, as you know, is uh, means something else. So in order to mean a literal plus sign, I uh, use a backslash. And, you know, then there are two digits, one, two, and then... Uh, Minus one, two, three, four digits, one, two, three, four. And of course, this is not working. Why is this not working? Because I have to write. <laughs> Weird. And uh, you know, you could run through this and just do a telephone number, and you'll find all the telephone numbers that your boss asked you to. Okay, but as we know, not everybody writes their telephone numbers in the same way, you know. Uh, maybe these um, minus signs wouldn't be there. For that, we have the question mark operator. Now, this is very handy. And as you can see in the right, this means between 0 and 1. So now, I could delete this, and whatever way, it will still match. So that's cool. And I could even make a space if I, if I could do a lot of stuff here. Very handy. I actually used this sort of Recex um, at work today. And I found around 240 telephone numbers. It was insane. Okay. Now, I have a lot of stuff, of course. A lot of Regex and a lot of um, different operators to show. Let me just move my picture here. Down here at the bottom right is an overview of um, of everything you can. So here is a single character ABC as I showed, and there's a white space, and there's new line, and whatever, and there's just plenty. Now, something I use the most is a positive look ahead. Now, this identifies some text and then matches the text behind it. And there is also the look behind, this is this one, and that's vice versa, it'll identify some text and find the text in front of it. Now, why is this so useful, and why do I use this constantly? Well, it's because a lot of the time you'll see, whoops, I can't spell, you'll see something like this. Oops, don't need that. Um, and I want to find the number, and or whatever text it might be a name, you know. And I have no idea what name it is, just whatever is uh, is after this. And some other info. Right. So it could be like this. I just want to. I just want the. Well, I shouldn't put phone number, should I? I should just put the name. I just want this. 
Okay, so what I'm actually looking for is this name here, because that's the only thing that's constant. Uh, the name itself will change all the time. So that's where I use a look behind. And a look behind goes, as you can see, question mark, there, 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 name. All right, here we go. And now I'd like to watch, uh, match what's after it. So I could, of course, do this, as we saw. Um, plus times. So any character letter, uh, maybe if I wanted uh, capital letters as well, I'd do this, and so on. But this really isn't what I do because as you can see, oh, there's no white space character, so I need to think about that. What, what if there's special characters, and so have you, and so have you. So what I usually do is put the full stop character. Now the full stop character is every character, except a new line. This is a new line here. A uh, new line is backslash n in regex. So usually, I'll just do this. Um, this allows a serial match, so I, it can return an empty string, and you can always also use the plus sign, of course. I do this constantly. This regular expression is the one I use the most, and uh, it's awesome. All right, so uh, let me show you what we do here in Power Automate. And move the picture again. Bye, cheeky. Over there. How do we use this in, in uh, Power Automate? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. There is a text, and there is a pass text here. So the pass text is just some variable, usually, or just some text. And we just click the is regular expression, and it'll return. And we have here, find the first occurrence. So if there are more matches, and you want more matches, you'll uh, turn this off, and it'll return a list of matches. But if you put it on, It'll just return the first match it finds. We can all case and uh, whatever you want. The position variable, of course, so you should just turn this off. Don't need it. But it doesn't stop here. I mean, regular expressions is uh, is used like everywhere, really. Like there are a lot of places you can use regular expressions. For example, here in uh, CSS selectors, regular expression match, like. When you get good with these CSS selectors, it's awesome to know regular expression because some IDs can change a lot, but they'll always stay the same format. And uh, yeah, so for changing IDs, this is exceptionally handy. Uh, and yeah, the last thing I want to show you is the uh, optical character recognition. This has actually gone pretty good. Uh, I used this when needed to. I remember once I didn't use this uh, OCR at all because it was, uh, well, shite. And it, uh, the, the robots kept falling, uh, failing and what have you. But now it's actually gotten pretty good and good enough so that I'll use it. Uh, if text on screen, so this looks for some text by using optical character recognition and uh, only answers the if sentence if it's there. And as you can see, there's also a regular expression term here. And uh, they're find they're found everywhere. All right, quick video. Just wanted to show you this, and um, hope you learned something. Goodbye.